Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in New York City at Advertising Week, where I am now joined by Adam Gitlin, president at Analect. Adam, such a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How are changes in consumer behavior shifting priorities for advertisers? Or in other words, what changes in consumer behavior are driving or influencing advertisers' priorities? Sure, so uh, I think there's nothing new in saying that people are using more media digitally now more than ever, and that will continue to increase. And that's brought about a series of changes over the past couple of decades beginning with arguably search and disrupting how people uh, research, shop, and buy uh, to now today, you can argue influencers, um, changing that landscape, and a lot in between, mobile phones, um, online retail and shopping. And, and at the end of the day, there's, I think, two themes that really uh, permeate uh, throughout all the change we've seen and continue to see, which is uh, data and fragmentation. So clearly, uh, as you interact more and more with data, uh, with sorry, with uh, digital media, uh, that creates a lot of data coming out of those interactions. And uh, as a result, there's a lot more opportunity to uh, deliver more targeted messaging and to measure the efficacy of that messaging. Uh, at the same time, we're seeing a rise in consumer awareness about how marketers in the marketing industry is using that data and concerns around privacy. Um, so there's clearly growing regulations uh, that marketers are thinking about and incorporating into their strategies. So uh, there's, there's that branch where we have clients thinking a lot about how do, should they be uh, acquiring and, and managing more data about their customers. And then on the other side is the fragmentation where digital media inherently creates fragmentation in the marketplace. And that makes it more difficult to simply understand how to most effectively reach your target audience. And then how do you measure that? Right, so really basic concepts become quite difficult in a digital ecosystem. And, and that has marketers thinking about, well, what's the right mix and where should I be pushing some more gas? Where should I be pulling back? Uh, and then how do I understand how all this is working to drive performance for my business? Uh, that's, those are the challenges that, that our clients are dealing with today. Great perspective, Adam. What other emerging trends are you seeing across the marketplace? Well, so in response to a lot of the dynamics that we just discussed, uh, what we're seeing is uh, new technologies emerge that uh, facilitate and encourage the use of data, but in ways that ensure the maximum level of security possible uh, and, and respect for consumer privacy. Right? So we're, we're seeing this technology emerge, which is opening up uh, new uh, opportunities and frankly, new areas of our industry Retail media, for one, is a, a, fast, a, a quickly growing area of the business, of the industry, that is leveraging this type of technology to make that data available for more powerful uh, activation and targeting within a retail environment. Um, and this is a big, big uh, uh, shift from where the industry was, uh, let's say, a decade ago, which was much more around how to bring all the data together. Um, with this shift of using technology to encourage data access, but in a secure way, what we're seeing is companies become more comfortable with giving partners, clients access to that data because they have more control over it. Right? And that means there's more opportunity to come up with creative ways to figure out how to better reach your target audience given all this fragmentation or how to measure uh, the, the effectiveness of all this happening. Great insights and perspective. I'd like to pivot now to the data cloud. How does it help Analect deliver real-time insights at scale, Adam? The, so we work uh, heavily with Snowflake's uh, AI data cloud. It's a core part of our infrastructure uh, as part of Omni, Omnicom's marketing orchestration platform. Uh, so as a platform, uh, our, our vision and mission is to help connect all the pieces of the ecosystem to facilitate end-to-end -end marketing uh, for our clients and for our teams. 
right? And that's across all aspects of marketing. And clearly data plays an important role in our ability to do that and our ability to better understand consumers, our ability to plan more efficient uh, reach uh, in our campaigns, more relevant messaging, and ultimately to measure. And, and so the AI data cloud uh, plays a big part in helping connect our platform to some of our partners who, again, are now more comfortable giving us, giving us access to some of that data that they don't want us to actually have in our cloud accounts. They want to control what we do and what, how we use it, which is perfectly fine um, because together we can come up with new and creative solutions to, uh, to, to ultimately help our clients drive their business. Very much the power of the ecosystem. Exactly, yeah. And Adam, you are over 5,000 strong, and like, how does your data strategy help power your internal teams and foster collaboration and result in innovation? So our, our strategy is very much uh, focused on how to access the, 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 let's say the most accurate and recent data uh, possible to get a, uh, as, as good an understanding of the consumer and their behaviors, um, to best understand the performance of the campaigns we manage on behalf of our clients. And we've been doing that through the use of technologies like the AI data cloud and everything I, I spoke about to integrate with our partners to facilitate access to that data. We then surface that through various tools and applications through Omni so that our teams across the globe can more effectively manage their campaigns. And you can imagine, uh, while Analect is 5,000, Omnicom is tens and tens of thousands. And, and so we need to provision data for a variety of, of users. There's our uh, strategic planners who are focused on, you know, how do I build and shape the architecture of the campaign and sort of the essence of this campaign through to uh, traders who are much more in the data and the transactions of optimizing the campaign. And then we have data scientists who want to get their hands on the actual data. All right, so we service the data to these different, uh, 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 different groups of people across the organization in, in different ways, all with the appropriate controls so that they have access to only the data they need to do their job, um, but uh, nonetheless have access to more data because of our ability to integrate with the ecosystem using uh, the clean rooms. You know, it's, it's great to hear very much that top-down ap approach. We're currently here in New York City, the advertising week, the buzz and the, the energy is, is continuing to build and AI is very much on the top of everyone's mind. From your seat, what kinds of breakthroughs or challenges do you expect to see over the coming year and how should business leaders prepare to leverage AI effectively? So I think we're, Exiting the phase of the initial hype, AI can solve the world's problems, to uh, learning more about what AI can, can truly do for us and how it's going to tangibly change our business. And so what that means is a lot of experimentation, a lot of learning. Uh, we're doing uh, a lot of that. We've already created several agents and deployed that across our tens of thousands of Omni users and exploring where we're seeing the most impact and, and using that as a guide to determine how do we, you know, where should we be investing more uh, to, to make our teams uh, faster and more creative. The, um, I'd say there's, we're, we're going to quickly move into a phase of autonomous analysis um, where our teams will not only be able to use AI to get at information, uh, to get at more specific information when they need it, but also using AI to anticipate what information they'll need, when they'll need it, where to access that data, and synthesizing that to surface to our teams in, in real time. And, and that's what we're most excited about, is, um, uh, is that because it will, transform how our teams work, uh, how they access the information, how they think, and we believe unlock sort of a next level of creativity uh, across the organization. It's ever evolving in real time. Certainly. Um, such a pleasure sitting down with you. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thank you.
And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. We'll see you soon.